my new business is formed as an LLC and I can't find the right tax form to fill out for the IRS. Uh, that, um, Caroline, thanks, sorry about that. Uh, very good question uh, and this is kind of one of those unique things and I'm not sure exactly why the IRS hasn't resolved this yet. Uh, limited liability companies or LLCs have been around for a long time um, but the IRS doesn't recognize them as a new entity form. They still haven't gotten around to doing uh, specific forms just for an LLC. So if your LLC operates as such, you have to choose how to be taxed uh, for federal income tax purposes. And here are your choices. Uh, first thing to ask yourself, are you a single member LLC? So you're the only owner? Or do you have a partner, an another person that owns part of the LLC? If you're the only owner, you can choose to be taxed as a sole proprietorship or to be taxed as a partnership. If there's more than one of you, you can choose to be taxed as a partnership or a corporation. So those are your choices. Now most of the time, most of us small business owners choose the first set, either as a sole proprietorship or a partnership. And the reason we choose that is because that still gives us the pass-through taxation uh, that we really wanted to have as a small business and as a uh, uh, LLC or a partnership. That means that entity is not going to pay any federal tax separate from you. If you choose a corporation, whether it's just you or have a partner, now you have to worry about that double tax uh, issue. So most likely you will have chosen the pass-through taxation. If you choose to be taxed as a sole proprietorship, the forms that you're going to use uh, for your LLC business is exactly the same as if you were a sole proprietorship. That means you use the Schedule C. Now we've looked at that a couple of times today. If you go to the Schedule C, um, no different than if you just had your own little sole proprietorship. Now with the LLC, again here at the top, you're not going to be using your Social Security number. You're going to be using the employer ID of your LLC. But other than that, the income at the top part of the form, the expenses that are included in the middle part of the form, works exactly the same as if you were a sole proprietorship. Uh, if you choose to be taxed as a corporation, uh, and there may be benefits for that, but if you've chosen that, now you're actually going to file a Form 1120, which is exactly the same form uh, General Motors files. Those are for big corporations. Uh, using that Form 1120, uh, not any more complicated than the Schedule C necessarily, um, but still if you got the, and I'm downloading this real quick, you still got income near the top. Uh, the top section is income, middle section is expenses, a few different definitions on some of those lines, maybe they're in a different order, but basically the same type of calculation. Uh, again, the key to keep in mind, if you choose the corporate form, uh, that corporate entity may very well have its own tax liability. Uh, so you might at least plan on having some type of tax planning to manage the earnings for the corporation as you get close to the end of the year to try to minimize that double taxation if you can. So again, back to the, the point blank answer to your question is, if you're an LLC, most likely you're going to use the Schedule C if you're the only owner. If you've got a partner, you're going to use a Form 1065, which is the partnership tax return. Otherwise, you're going to end up filing a corporate tax return, which is Form 1120. So hope that helps you with the forms. Again, uh, lots of forms here at Mahalo.com, lots of places to click, lots of new resources. Uh, don't forget about IRS.gov, still can go out there for lots of forms uh, as well.